Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. As promised in my previous video where I did a test on the regulator rectifier from the Honda VFR 800 VTEC, uh, I'm going to follow it up with a video testing the stator on this bike. Okay, what it is, basic condition test, it's just making sure that it hasn't broken down and that it will uh, that'll work as, uh, as expected. <laughs> Okay, all we need uh, in order to do this job is a multimeter. There's going to be two separate tests that we're going to do, uh, and they're both very, very straightforward and both achieved with a uh, common or garden uh, multimeter. Okay, for the first test then, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect the negative lead, when I untangle it, connect the negative lead to the negative lead of the battery, making sure it's making a good connection. Okay, and then positive lead is going to be, um, I'm gonna poke around inside this connector basically. Um, in order to uh, check my stator. Now this connector, as you can see, is three, the three yellow wires from the stator, all three phases. The stator itself is on the other side of the bike behind the opposite cover, um, but the cable comes through under the tank to this point where it would meet the regulator rectifier um, as that would be bolted up here. Okay, right. So what we're doing in this test is um, basically we are going to uh, check that none of the windings are grounding. Um, obviously, if they're grounding, what's happening is all the uh, all the AC current that's being produced by the stator is just grounding to earth and not going to the regulator rectifier like it should. Obviously, that would then have problems because then you'll have charging issues. You may find that your lights don't work as they should and all, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, as I said, uh, negative cable to the battery. It doesn't have to go to the battery. It can go anywhere on the frame, really. As long as it's a good ground, you know, I could have clipped onto here, but I've got the battery there, so, so why not? Okay, all we're gonna do I'll put the uh, multimeter where you can see it. All we're going to do is I'm going to touch each of the three connectors inside here and what we should not get is a reading. If we get a reading then that phase is grounding to earth. So nothing, that's good. Nothing, that's good. Nothing, that's good. Okay so that means that the insulation on the windings, those tightly wound coils it's fine, it hasn't broken down and it's not allowing uh, leakage to earth. So that's uh, that's the first part of the test done. Okay, so the uh, the initial test for the insulation was all good. The next test, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that there's no breaks in any of the windings. Now, um, in order to do that, all we're gonna do is um, I've uh, removed this from the battery because it's not leading on the battery anymore and I've put my probes on. Um, again, back to resistance. And what we wanna do is put the probe in one of the connectors just like this and then this time we should get continuity because we want there to be continuity now because we don't want there to be a break in any of the windings so what i'm going to do from that one i'm going to tech check that pin and we should get a reading it, it won't be much it shouldn't be much it should be very very low resistance and again to that one and we've got good continuity now obviously i haven't checked between that pin and that pin so what i need to do now is move that one to there and check it again and we're good. Okay, so we know that the uh, the windings in the stator are all good. Again, very, very quick and easy test. Very, very simple. Um, and all you need is a, uh, a very, very cheap multimeter. Okay, guys, um, that uh, concludes the testing of the stator. Uh, if you have any questions or anything at all, any comments, then please leave them below and I'll, uh, I'll do my best to get back to you. Um, thank you very much for uh, watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and I'll see you all again very, very soon for the next video. Thank you very much, guys. Bye-bye now.